stop at Lewis Falls, um, <clears throat> but the parking area for the viewpoint was um, being utilized by a bunch of uh, construction vehicles. Um, the, the bridge right there is under major construction, and so your only viewpoint of it is driving right past it, and unfortunately I didn't have my camera or anything ready, so I'm just going to have to remember it with my brain. <laughs> um, but if you are, if you were planning to see Lewis Falls, I, that construction is, looks like a major undertaking. I don't think that it's going to be done in 2022, so... Um, just have your camera ready when you go through that construction zone if you're heading south on the highway um, because that's going to be your only opportunity to see it and get a picture. So we have just left Yellowstone National Park and we are getting ready to enter Grand Teton National Park. Um, over there. So the next, the Grand Teton National Park is seven miles. That's it. That's all that separates um, the south entrance of Yosemite, or Yosemite Yellowstone, um, from the north entrance of Grand Teton. of Jackson Lake as we've been driving in um, but this is the first pullout that um, we had an opportunity to stop at uh, there are some informational boards here as well there's two of them in this little um, pull off the pull out off of the highway that's all right we, we have reached a point in the trip where your father so we made a stop in the Coulter Bay um, area. There's a general store over here and um, they have Starbucks coffee. So we got some coffee, we got some stuff for lunch, um, and I get some ice. Um, there's also the visitor center. Um, and then I think we're gonna um, go down to the beach area of the lake and hang out until we can check into our hotel just to kind of take it easy today. Should be good. General store, gift shop, showers, laundry. <laughs> so we just visited um, the visitor center here in Coulter Bay and had a wonderful conversation with one of the um, employees there. Um, actually, I think she was she was a ranger um, mm -hmm. who was behind the desk because she was recovering from an injury. Um, so it was really nice to be able to talk to uh, an actual ranger instead of just one of the park service employees that are typically um, behind those desks, the information desks. Um, she gave us a lot of really great recommendations. So if you're ever in a national park and you're like, I just really don't know what to do or there's so many options, what's the best one? I highly recommend getting into what their visitor center and talking to a ranger or talking to a park employee. Um, and asking what they what their favorite thing to do in the park is and get suggestions that way um, So with that we are going to do the park loop um, And and make our way back to Coulter Bay from there and then we'll decide what to do um, Based on what time it is after we've done the the park loop with all the overlooks and stuff um, If there's time after that then we will do there's a two-mile hike here that um, the ranger recommended so we'll do that and then we will head to um, 
Jackson Lake Lodge, which is where we're staying tonight. So the first stop on the loop for us, um, since we already stopped at the Jackson Lake um, Overlook earlier on our way in, is the Willow Flats Overlook here. Just some gorgeous views of the of the Tetons. So this is the Jackson Lake Dam. This is not a designated stop on the the loop designated forest or national park uh, stop but we decided to stop here anyways because it's pretty and here at this Chapel of the Sacred Heart. Decided to come in because it was built in 1937, only to find out that that's the original chapel. And that's it after its restoration. <laughs> so not exactly the same. So we are on the one way Jenny Lake Loop Drive. And this will take us to the Jenny Lake Overlook. Eventually. But it's very pretty, very peaceful. This is the Jenny Lake Overlook. Menor's Ferry Historic District. It's a short little, short little walk. Like where do you, there's no deposit. So there's trail gates, oh there it is. Um, they're a dollar. And you just walk down here. Is that a big gate right there? So, there's the parking lot. You cross this little service road and make a right here onto this little pathway. And first we are going to the Mod Noble's cabin, which is right up there. Oh no, the building is closed. We can't go inside. That's quite a bummer. Um, 
I don't know if we'll be able to see inside the windows or not. But... Oh, it's, it's empty. Oh well. On to the next thing, I guess. Just keep following the path. I see a stagecoach. Oh man, this is locked too. The here. It says it's closed for the season, but the season starts here in June, and it is the end of July. So that's kind of a bummer that all this stuff is not opened. There's the, I believe that's the Snake River. Could be wrong. I haven't seen a sign or anything, but. side of this building. At least they have these windows down so you can see in and see the, the old stagecoaches or whatever these are called. I think it's a stagecoach. And they would it would be attached to this this thing over here. Oh, okay. So that's the old ferry crossing. And as Rusty was just saying, it would be attached here and take you across to there. It's pretty cool. Some nice river views. So this is the cable that the ferry was attached to, to get to the other side. And this is William Menner, who was the ferry, um, ferry captain. It was his house and general store. I don't believe this is a replica but I could be wrong. And here's the little Menor's Ferry Well. So this is the storehouse. And then back here was his smokehouse. Um, there was another smokehouse back here that's no longer there. It was much larger. Um, then you had, this is a store, correct? Yes. So here was a store, right here where this door is. And then next to it, right here, was his cabin. Here's another view of the replica ferry. I mean, not a bad place to homestead. So after you've seen everything, just soak in the views as you return to the parking lot. at Mormon Row Historic District and we're just driving by because um, you can't actually go into it. I think people were disrespectful and you know, you know being people and um, so they closed off the area but this is it.
here on the left, there's a big old barn, pretty neat. Just past these trees. Just ate lunch and now we are at the Snake River Overlook. Oh, well, it's not the best overlook. <laughs> See it like right there. <laughs> but there might be some better views down further. on our loop is the Oxbow Bend of the Snake River. So we just arrived at the Jackson Lake Lodge and this is our King Patio Cottage. View of some of the aspen trees. So this is what we call hiker trash laundry. <laughs> A little bit of camp suds, bathtub, a little bit of soaking, and call it a day. This is the lobby of the Jackson Lake Lodge. With free Wi-Fi. So you, you got a lot of a lot of this going on all over. Just really, really neat architecture. First sunset in Grand Teton National Park. Does not disappoint. Oh, my. 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 Oh,